just listen to this. Oh, gyro's so working. Uh, this is a ready-made RC recruit. Yes. It's a under $90 flying wing with stabilization board. We want to see how it flies. We did do a couple mods though. A little piece of angled metal for the antenna to hold that on there. And that way the antenna's not flopping around. It kind of streamlines everything and you can still take off the hatch and be able to get into it. For under hundred bucks, it's going to be really cool to see how this performs. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. So today we actually have Matt and Ian flying with us. This is one of the few times we actually have three FPV signals in one spot. And there's a really important thing that you want to do whenever you fly the more than one person. And that's to space out the, the video frequencies, right? Yep. 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 You want to make sure at least you're like 40 megahertz apart. If you're on Fat Shark 1, your friend's got to be on Fat Shark 3 at least. And then we usually do at least three or four channels. So Fat Shark 1, Fat Shark 4, Fat Shark 7. That way you're separated. You don't bleed over on each other. The only frequency band that you can actually go consecutive channels back to back is the race band. So you can do race 1 with race 2 with race 3 with race 4 with yep. race 5. That's awesome. Uh, All right, let's put these in the air. Here we go, dude. Should I try the, uh, the gyro I launch? I say you try the gyro launch. <laughs> That's ridiculous! Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! Let's look what you got here, dude. Oh yeah, there you are. Are we clear? Are you clear as day? I did not want to trust that. <laughs> I was a little worried that too. That is awesome! I was a little bit worried. So as we said before, we have three different modes here, and those three different modes, one gives auto level, one just gives you start, uh, gyro stability, mm -hmm. and then the final one gives you uh, no gyros. Yeah. So you're flying, you know, flying true. So this is not our first time flying. We actually had, got to have a little bit of fun with this, but it was 20 to 30 mile an hour winds that day. Yeah. And with the gyros, we were actually able to shoot things like the pavilion at Hawks Field. And yeah. it was a pretty awesome experience. Nowadays, like with this calm weather, I could do it all day long. Yeah. Now he shot through the pavilion. I tried to shoot through the pavilion. I didn't quite make it. You did good. <laughs> I got about right to the beginning and clapped it. This is what it is. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks stable, man. Woo! He's nice. So, looks like something from Star Wars. <laughs> so one, one benefit you have here is we're flying from the camera, which means you have less latency. And mm -hmm. also the GoPro, the session, the run cam is only doing the work of recording the actual image. And that's a really nice feature because it gives you the ability, even if your GoPro goes dead, you don't lose video instantly. Right, exactly. Now we're flying off of what you typically find actually in a multi-rotor quad, which makes us very efficient when you're only flying one motor off of a 2200 three cell. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna buzz around. Buzz around. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I'd honestly go through a gate. Oh, I think I you think can try. You, could. you might as well try. I, th <laughs> we'll, I think that we'll, you can. We'll try a gate at the very end of this. So they're kind of looking at like the people that are in the quad industry who have flying, been flying quads for a long time. Um, they want to get into the other side of the hobby with the fixed yeah. wing. Uh, it's got like a 2204 motor on it, which is very quad esque, as yeah, it were. Very efficient. Um, plus, it holds a GoPro session, which is another thing that a lot of quad people are using these days to capture footage. But because it has that gyro stabilization, it really takes the, the guesswork out of flying yeah. a wing, which is really cool. Oh, that's great. We really wanted to test this out for being a sub $100 plug and fly. You're yeah. still going to need to put your battery, your receiver, those kind of items. Yep. Where you at? It's a lot of wing for under 100 bucks. Yeah. And you're, you're going to need a uh, at least a four channel transmitter. Um, with a receiver and then also a 2400 uh, three cell. Yeah. When they fly in formation right behind you, yeah. it looks really cool. Because you got cool? two little quads chasing, <laughs> you got the wing in front. It looks really Dude, cool. Dude, we, we love well these the hobbies. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> dude, fly, flying with friends is the best way to do oh, it. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at you guys all oh, up wee. there near the tower. Just having a, an adventure, going on a journey. I love this. So compared to the other day, Josh, when we were flying, it's so much better. Yeah. So really, you can't count on the control board, especially on a flying wing, to give you a smooth experience in windy right. weather, but it can help you out so much. Yeah. What really caught our eye was the fact that it was included with this kit. You yeah. know, and we wanted to see, okay, is it just like a token gyro? Is it doing its job? It really is doing an, an yeah. excellent job. Incredible. All right, oh, here it goes. Okay. Here it goes. Oh, oh yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! gosh. Let's go! Dude. Dude. Are you kidding me? That was awesome. Are you joking me right now, dude? <laughs> oh dude, my god. This is this is a, a good testimony how smooth it is. Oh that's Alright, let's go to the uh, that No way! <laughs> <laughs> nice! Are you kidding me right I now, John? You right through it. That was dude, awesome. This is that was awesome. Wing racing is something I'm really fond of because I'm not a good quad pilot. <laughs> and uh 
this this can definitely have the smoothness to go through stuff. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna bring it for a landing, but I wanna try something. On a good wing, you can pin the stick back and it yep. won't tip stall. So you oh, can yeah. see right here, I oh, got yeah. the stick all the way back and I'm just gonna land it that way. Boop. What? Yeah. That's so, awesome. A really cool feature wow. that when you fly these things, it puts on an attitude, but it doesn't drop a wing tip. Mm -hmm. And even without this being in gyro control, I tried this earlier and it does a phenomenal job. It'll just stop dead into the wind and it'll just kind of elevate her down. Yeah. And that's a really yeah. good characteristic for a really friendly flying wow. wing. Wow, yeah. And if it's stable enough to go through a gate. Oh yeah, I, it, I, I'm speechless. I can't, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> the things that you were doing with that wing, I just like, awesome. mind blown. Flying with you guys is awesome. It was amazing. Can't wait to see the footage. Friends, thanks for being part of the family. Check these products out. We're gonna also have links to other wing videos that we did. We'll see you next time.